This is exciting. He's a salesperson. I don't know what he sells. Please welcome to the show for the first time, Maurice Flatbottom. Oh, Scott, thanks for having me. Wow, it's my Monday, pleasure. Monday morning, right? Ooh, oh, boy, oh, man, I tell you, oh, Mondays. Gosh. Garfield. He, uh, uh, I can't remember how he felt about him. Do you love him? I, I, Did he hate him? He was ambivalent. I think. Yeah, he was always like Mondays, take it or leave it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he hated them. I, he did? I, yeah, I don't want to cross you. He guys. hated Mondays and lasagna. No, right. no, 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 no. <laughs> and his owner Dave. One out of two ain't bad. Two, uh, two out of three ain't bad. No. Did he hate Dave? He hated Dave, right? He just liked to torture Dave. Did he hate Odie? Uh, uh, yes, he, he hated. Seemed, he seemed to have a pessimistic. It's interesting because when I, when I, uh, and not to get you too off track here, uh, Maurice uh, Flatbottom. I is think here, you do like. But, I think you do like it. But run with this. But 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 when I would see him, okay, so so cats. When you like, you see a little drawing of a cat. It's usually like cute, and you're like, "Oh, look at this cute little kitten!" And you you personify it and sort of go like, "Oh my god, they have such a sweet personality." But when Garfield came out, I was like, "Wait a minute, this guy's like sarcastic. He doesn't. He, he's like Heathcliff, kind of. He was like he's like an off-brand Heathcliff, yeah, like, in a way, without the throwing fish bones in the air. You know, mm -hmm. I love Fishbone though. Aren't they a great band? They really were. Yeah, yeah. skanking to the beat. Oh, the best. Yeah. Anyway, hi. Okay. Pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> do you, you like ska music? Oh, I do. Pick My it up. favorite thing of ska music is when they when they say pick it up. Because I'm I'm all about, you know, keeping your room tidy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Because that, 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 that's what they were. They're it's like, really what, I want to listen to music and be nagged out by my, by my mom? <laughs> you know? No it's way. Like, I want a ska band telling me to pick up my room. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Maurice. Oh, uh, it's so good to be here on a Monday, which usually drags on forever. Yeah. And I drown my sorrows in lasagna. But otherwise, uh, you know, I'm here. Like Heathcliff. Yeah, exactly like Heathcliff. Cliff. Yeah, the the cat, not the uh, uh, who was Heathcliff, the middle age, uh, not in the middle age. He's it prime, prime minister. He might have been middle aged for like life expectancies back then. Mm -hmm. You know, but, but he was probably pretty young compared to us. Yes. I, <laughs> Great to see you. Picking it back up. Uh, it's great yeah. to be here. You're a salesperson. Yeah, I'm a salesperson. I, I've been selling beans for 30 years. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Beans. One at a time or in cans or? Uh, it depends, you what, know. What kind of beans? Uh, all kinds of beans. You name a bean, I've sold it. Lima. Lima beans, yep, I've sold Garbanzo. it. Garbanzo. Yep, Garbanzo. Do you grow the beans or do you no, find I... the beans? Are you given the beans? Where do you get the beans, man? <laughs> hey, man, I'm a salesman, all right? I'm not a farmer. <laughs> I'm not a collector, okay? I don't go out there. I'm not a trader. You're not a collector of anything? Oh, no. Uh -uh. You don't care where the beans come from? I don't care where the... No. Wait, I... who doesn't collect anything? Like baseball cards or... Oh, I, well, yeah, I have a bunch of baseball cards, <laughs> but I don't collect them. Well, how many do you have? I don't know, 40,000? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I buy them. You know, I put them in the little books and things like that. Sure. I admire them. I take them out. I read the back. Sure. I love the stats. But, but you're a purchaser of, of 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 baseball cards. You're not a collector. No, no, no. I don't want to. Ooh, have you ever been around collectors? People that collect Creepy, creepy. Ooh, yeah, they're weirdos. Ooh, yeah. Oh, sorry to say weirdo around you. I knew, you I'm not you, weirdo you, anymore, though. No, I know, but uh, you kind of looked at me like, are you calling me? And I, no. I, that's you, somebody else. That's, you know, that's, that's, that's my dad's nickname. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, uh, you. So you, how do you get the beans? This is uh, confounding to me. Like you sell these things that you don't have? Yeah. Have you ever been in a store? You see someone stock the shelves in a store. Mm. Do you think that they actually assemble all those products themselves? <laughs> I, I kind of thought so. Yeah. I mean, why would they sell them if they didn't? Oh, fellas, it's too early on a Monday <laughs> to walk you through this. <laughs> Was there, so where do you, I mean, do you, do you go around buying them from stores and then reselling them? Would, how, do you, how do you do this? No, I work at a bean store. Okay. I show up. You work I, at a bean store. I work at a bean store. I show up and I sell all the goods because of my sparkling personality. Oh, because I'm moving this fast on a Monday, baby. Yeah. You only sell beans. I only sell beans. Well, it's a bean store. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, what's the store's name? Where is it located? Uh, LL Bean. It's in an outlet mall nearby. Oh. Okay. What are, what are the L's for? Ladies Love? Like LL Cool J? <laughs> yeah. Ladies Love Bean. <laughs> <laughs> we saw them one at a time. Oh, okay. And it's uh, true. It's totally true. <laughs> right. Yeah, but I've worked in other bean stores, you know. Oh, yeah. Which ones? Have, I mean, I'm trying to think of another bean store. I'm to, like uh, Barney's Beanery, I guess, is the only one that I can think of. Yeah, Barney's Beanery. Um, Target, before they shifted to kind of like an all-purpose store, they used to sell they, It was beans. just beans, just really. Beans. Yep. And so it was like, hey, our target is beans. Yeah. Yeah. That used to be the full name of the store, our target <laughs> is beans. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. And, uh, Kmart used to be the same way. Really? So yeah. the K... It was founded by a guy named uh, uh, Martin Beanstein. And, oh, uh, really? And the name of the store was, okay, Martin loves beans. Come and get them here. <laughs> and so the K, they dropped the O, much like Weirdo Al did. Like, yeah. just K. And they just, now it's just Kmart. Yep. Interesting. God, the things you learn about. So you, you... 
do you eat beans? I definitely eat beans. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll eat a bean salad. I'll eat hmm. a black bean burger. Yeah. Um, they call them the musical fruit sometimes. Do I was going to say, are you offended by that? That uh, is that disrespectful? Couplet. Not really. See, beans, uh, all beans have oligosaccharides, which create, you know, gas-like flatulence right. inside your body. So. Right. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the lyrics, as I recall them, they go, beans means the musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. And are beans, in fact, fruit? Because I never thought of them as such. Yeah. You know, I think that's to make like the a, like rhyme Like a bean work. sundae. That's to make the rhyme work. Okay. So if it were more accurate, it would be like, beans beans, beans, beans the, the magical, magical legume. legume. The more you eat, the more your butt goes zoom, maybe? Yeah. I mean, that I makes much more sense. What? Let's put that into our Song. Oh yeah, that's a that's a great starting first lyric. Okay, uh-huh. go ahead. You can take it. I don't even want credit because I'm a bean salesman. You didn't come up with any of it, huh? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> no, you, you sat there nodding while we did all the work. I you said you get the publishing though, don't you think? I said it's not a fruit. Everything started from me saying it's not a fruit. <laughs> all right, yeah, let's cut him in on all this. Right, fine. Yeah. All right. So, um, so great. You love beans. You sell beans. Are you here to sell us beans? Why are you on the show? I'm here to talk about how my kids do not respect me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Why was I wasting so much time talking about beans? I guess that's not what you came here to talk about. I don't know. You know, honestly, I listen to this show. A lot of people come on with a clear agenda, and you get them away from that agenda immediately. So I'm surprised we're spent any time on my <laughs> okay, agenda. Okay, I, I beg your pardon. All right, wait, wait, wait. You want to talk about These your kids? kids? They do not respect me because I'm a bean salesman, and I've had it up to here, and I'm holding my hand above my head. Holy, that's wow. high. Yeah. That is too high. I can't do that anymore. Hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Getting up there or shoulder problems? You a tennis player? You have Bob Dole disease, don't you? Yeah. (laughs) I did not have sex with With that that woman. woman. Yeah, that was great, Bob Dole. Good stuff. (laughs) So you, so how many kids do you have? I've got two kids. Oh, they're named boy and a girl. Boy and a girl. They're named after my favorite movies. Okay, Dumb and Dumber. Godfather's (laughs) Part Two and Three. (laughs) (laughs) Nice try, nice try, fellas. Juno and Big. Ooh. Okay, yeah. These are good movies. I mean, they came out uh, uh, quite a few years apart. Uh Uh-huh. So usually when people have two favorite movies, they're like, they came out in the same year. Have you ever noticed that? Uh, uh, I can't say that I have. (laughs) Uh, I'd be intrigued if someone said that that was the case. (laughs) Well, I'm saying it, and so you must be intrigued. If someone, if someone, okay, what are your two favorite movies that came out in the same year? Back to the Future 2 and (laughs) 3. It came out in the same year? Yeah. Wow. Slow year for that filmmaker. <laughs> <laughs> or fast year, I guess. Fast year, yeah. Yeah, slow year for movies. A slow uh, slow year for uh, The Roses, yeah. Well, I guess that studio just wanted to pump pump out the hits. Well, they I mean, they had a backlog of Back to the Future movies. They were like, let's just put both of these out. They should have made a fourth one. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. So um, <laughs> I hope so, they do. So you, so, but your kids were not made in the same year, were they? Or, or no, 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 no. One was made the year that Big came out. One was year that made the the year that one was made the year that Juno came out. Okay, so one was ma- conceived then in 1986 or seven when Big came out. Yeah, right? conceived and born the same year. I was trying to conceive maybe. in January and and have them. Oh, born. really? Okay, so you do you only have sex in January? It's the conception month. <laughs> Because yeah, it's it gets so confusing when a kid will say like, "Mommy, Daddy, when was I conceived?" Because I know when I was born, you know, and they say the year, but they're like, "Was I conceived earlier?" You know, and you, it's just easier for you to oh, say it's like, "Way easier." Conceived in the same year that you were born, my Help, young. Helps me keep my temper in check because otherwise right. I'd be like, "Do the math," <laughs> and, and I, instead I'd be like, "The same year." <laughs> I have to assume that Big is the uh, your your son. Is that correct? Yeah. Now, now big is he in on. fact a big kid, or is it is like ironically named? Oh, he's tiny. It's so ironically named. Mm. Oh wow. Okay, so then Juno, uh, yeah. she must be. Let's see. When did Juno come out? I'm guessing twenty uh, two thousand and. Uh, oh. Let's see. Jennifer's body was probably two thousand and eight. So uh, two thousand five or so. So how old? Uh, you tell us. I mean, this is your favorite movie. I mean, you tell and me. your daughter. Yeah. Well, she disrespects me so much. I forgot her birthday a long time. Oh, okay. <laughs> we could look it up if we. But really she's want. in her teens, probably. Yeah, she's in her teens. Probably still in high school. Uh, yeah. Most people don't think so though, because she's six foot eight. Really? What? Yeah. You should see her Instagram. Real? Uh, I'd love to. What? What's her handle? Uh, Juno Flatbottom. <laughs> Oh, okay. Just her name. Yeah. <laughs> pretty simple. Yeah. Pretty, okay. Pretty easy to find. So she's, what? She's not a real creative kid. She's tall, but she's not creative. Oh, really? You think maybe her creativity got stretched out, you know? Like she's got too much body for, you know? That's what our pediatrician said. Really? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, he sat me down and he was like, look, <laughs> Maurice, I got bad news for you. You were standing before. Yeah, I was. Really? So when you go to the pediatrician, you like to just stand up when you're there and just kind of like 
overpower everyone, like tower over everyone in the room? Or? Well, I don't just have a clever last name. I have a flat bottom, so I don't like sitting for prolonged periods of time. Oh, okay. Unless it's on my little donut cushion at home. Oh, okay. Well, what's going on back there? Can you turn around and uh, give us a little sneak preve of what's going on down there? Sure. Take a look at these hems. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's I, I, I just thought that flat bottom was just your given surname, but it, it actually describes you physically. Yeah, that's right. At Ellis Island, that's what my family's name was. But that's flat as hell. Yeah, it's really flat. Yeah, that's not, I mean, it's not even, it's, I was going to say it almost looks concave, but it's not. It's just purely just straight flat down. Yeah. It's that's sheared right off. Yeah. 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 It's like someone took a, a, a pair of, a big giant pair of novelty scissors that they were like cutting a, a ribbon with at a, like a, an opening of a, a, of a grocery or something like that and just like sheared your butt right off. But why do they have to be novelty scissors, Scott? I mean. I'm sorry. I know the novelty stuff is very close to your you heart. No, it just <laughs> irks me. I'm sorry. It's, yeah. You don't it like, could be just be real <laughs> Super large scissors. Right. I okay. think they were at one point, and then someone started laughing at them. Yeah. You know? And then all of a sudden they became novelty when they're so purely cruel. functional. So cruel. You ever, I wonder how often those get used. Like, you know, you do the you do the ribbon at the thing, and then do you, what do you put them in? A like, giant like, drawer? Honey, have you like, seen the super large scissors? I'm opening another store. <laughs> anyway, what happened there? Yeah, let's pick it up. Uh, <laughs> I think in Europe uh, a long time ago, uh, before my family immigrated over here, some super giant scissors snapped off, you know, one of my great, great, great grandfather's oh. buttocks or something like that. Yeah, and that's just a, a, a one would think then genetically you would all be born with uh, uh, round bottoms after that, though, because like that would be passed on. Like that was something that happened as a do, do you get what I'm saying? Like, it's not something genetically that should be passed down. It would just seems like an accident. Let's dig in here to what you're really getting at. <laughs> uh, so what you're saying is if the buttocks were cut off. Then the next generation would have nice round buttocks. But yeah, I guess what I'm saying is, is like, say I were to have my leg cut off uh-huh. uh, because I step on a rusty nail or something, and I'm I'm like, that's eh, not that big of a deal. But I didn't get my tetanus shot or you know whatever. My kids are not going to be born without legs, presumably, just because I you know got one cut off you know 28 years into my life. Well, that's not what my pediatrician told me. Really? Yeah. So you were you were standing above him. Standing Is this above the him. same conversation? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I've, so I've, he had a lot to cover. I've only met the guy once, but I was there for about eight hours. It was a Monday. Thank God it gave me something to do. Oh, okay. Yeah. I hate Mondays. So you're looming over him, power I'm, move, I'm domineering him. Yep. Yep. And he said, uh, you know, please sit down. And eight hours later, he's like, and that's that's the story of how your butt's so flat, pal. Wow. That's a long time Shoot. for you to sit. Yeah. Especially for me. On a flat bottom like this. Yeah. Straight to bone. Wow. Hey, it, you ever tried sitting on like maybe a, a more uh, a ovular chair or like a like a bouncy ball or something? Like that? Sure. Yeah, I've got those at home. I've got a little hemorrhoid donut pillow that I sit on as well. Mm-hmm. And I've thought about getting a fake ass. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, th- it's popular these days. You see, uh, you see a lot of people with those implants. Mm-hmm. You, you've just thought about it. Yeah, I've thought about it. But I got a lot of money, but I don't have disposable money for a fake ass. If you know what I mean. Why do yeah. you have so much money? I mean, you sell beans. <laughs> I mean, you could answer that question yourself. <laughs> there's beans everywhere. Everywhere you turn, there's beans. Okay, so I'm going to turn to the right. Uh huh. And you're saying that I will probably see some beans if I were just to turn to the right in this studio right here. Go for it. Okay, here I'm going to turn you. God damn it, you're right. There's some beans right there. Big pile of beans. Big pile of. Now, did you bring those with you? No, I didn't. But you'd never notice them because we're all there's <laughs> there's piles just of beans, beans every, everywhere. Piles of beans. Everywhere. Interesting. So if if people when you're listening to this right now. Open your eyes up to the fact that there's just like loose beans everywhere you look. That was my aha moment and what got me into selling beans. Such a good group. (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. I'm going to take on these beans is what you said. I did. Mm Mm-hmm. And that made me, you know, that got me my first million. Really? How many millions did you get? 37. 37 million dollars just from beans. Yeah. So you got a lot of money, but you don't have, uh, what were we talking about? The respect of your children. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Children. That's right. Yeah. That'd, but, be a, that'd be a great song. I'd like to hear Aha sing that. I got a lot of money, but not a lot of respect from my children. Yeah. Do they have flat asses too? Uh, probably not. <laughs> You've never looked at I mean, I guess once they get to a certain age, you shouldn't be looking at their bottoms, right? What, my kids? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant aha. I've never <laughs> I've never Googled aha flat asses? <laughs> Question mark? Well, let's get it trending hey, what here if, on Twitter. Let's uh, hashtag aha flat. What was it that you said? Flat. Uh, uh, yeah, aha flat asses? Mm-hmm. Question mark? If you put a question mark in Google, does Google uh, get you the result a little faster? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Google, TikTok, we're on a, yeah. a time crunch here. I really want to know. 
know. Yeah. None of the misinformation on this research. Yeah. Research it's like, ask Jeeves. Like, is it a question or not? Yeah. Ask Jeeves. So, that, so yeah. your kids, though. Oh, uh, yeah. No, yeah, they have flat asses. Yeah. They have okay. big flat asses. Does your store smell really bad? What? What? <laughs> that because people me off come guard. in. People come in and they must be farting all the time. It's not Whole what? Foods. There aren't samplers. <laughs> I'm not giving out samples of piles of beans and then lock up. The You're standing right above me. I need to open an account. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta think of an all cap password right now. So how do we get your children to love you? Oh no, maybe they love you, but they don't respect you. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely that. They they do love you. Though. Oh yeah, my birthday, I get a card that says, "Dad, I love you." You know. Oh wow. Uh, please see other side of card. Flip it over. Uh, but I don't respect you. <laughs> oh, wow. Zing. And then I... Uh, Is that Hallmark? Who, do, who does those cards? Oh, they make them themselves. Oh, oh I see. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. They're crafty. They're not creative, but they're crafty. Okay, yeah. So they, they're they good with their hands. They're good with, yeah. And macaroni and cheese. Do you, When people eat macaroni and cheese, do you like that? Because it's like people are usually eating it instead of beans. You know what I mean? Well, you've never, you could make bean aroni and cheese if you wanted. I get. Well, is that what you do? You just suggest beans for every single thing that anyone says? There's no reason you can't substitute beans for most things. What's your favorite meal? Favorite meal? Yeah. Like if I were to order my last meal, if I were in prison, I yeah. was being executed. Let's say you're being executed for crimes against humanity at the Hague. Right. Well, <laughs> at the Hague. Yeah. What did I do? This podcast. You did this. <laughs> this? And it's, it's landed me in the Hague? Over 10 years. You deserve to die. <laughs> okay. So you're at the Hague. Okay. You're being put to death. Okay. Uh, what's your last meal? God, it's such, it's interesting because it's like, do you go with something really fancy or do you just go with something you love Some, or something, something you hate? So it's like, I don't care if I die. Like, yeah. Ugh. Oh, my stomach. God, Please, put me out of my misery. Kill yeah. me now. That's probably it. I'll, uh, I'm allergic to shellfish, so uh, I'd probably pick shrimp and and uh, maybe beat them to the punch. Maybe I'd die before they could get me. I'd be like, ha ha, snooze you lose, suckas. <laughs> I'm sure they'd EpiPen you or something like that because yeah, they want to see you suffer. They want. They really do. Yeah, because of the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> All these Dutch people that, that hate you so much. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> They're out there. They're, they are. But I guess back to my earlier question. Question, what I was trying to say is, is that people who come and shop into your in your store, they're accustomed to eating beans so much that they must be farting from the last meal they had. Ah. Uh, Does I'm that not, come into play? I'm not going to lie and say no customer in my store has ever ripped a big juicy fart. <laughs> and, they must, and they must feel comfortable about it because they're like, look, I'm in a bean store. If anywhere I can do this in public, That's it true. would be here. Yeah. And we do have, like, there is some production value inside the store, so they are mic'd up uh, every time they're on. <laughs> How do you mean they're... <laughs> every customer who enters the store is mic'd up. Like when they so, walk through the door. Yeah. So you have a sound person uh -huh. there at the door collecting lav mics? Yeah, we, from... we got a grip that tapes out the floor. In, uh, oh, this is why you... Okay. Yeah, we asked them, like, you know, what beans do you want to say? Ah, well, you know, I'd like to see some uh, navy beans or pinto okay. beans. Well, here's your mark. Here's your mark, you know. It's about then... 10 paces this way. Yeah. <laughs> Just hit this mark. Yeah. This is your A mark. <laughs> This is your A mark. This is your number one. This is your number two. This is your second spot. Yeah, there number two. Number Boy, two. Oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like farts usually, that's like the Paul Revere of poop. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite thing to say when you hear someone fart? Mine is, uh, why don't you go to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. Yeah. That's a classic. Do you need to go to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have bathrooms in your store? Uh, yeah. Why are we talking about the beans? Well, I, you I, got I, me back on the beans. Let's talk about the bathrooms in the store. Back, back to one. Back to one. <laughs> back to one. Back to one. <laughs> well, you're an interesting guy, Maurice, I got to say, uh, with an interesting life. Thanks. Um, not so much an interesting job, but, uh, and, and your hobby. I mean, it's not even a hobby. You just buy things. Yeah, yeah. Mostly baseball cards. <laughs> yeah. How, how? And coins. <laughs> and oh, coins. really? You collect coins? Yeah, yeah. The Bicentennial Quarter. Mm. Love those. Yeah. What was that? Uh, 1976 those came out? You got it. Good math. <laughs> yeah, history buff, eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, and how much did that one run you? 25 cents. Really? Okay, so it's just, yeah. You just trade in one quarter for another quarter <laughs> at that point. <laughs> That's the thing, is none of these should be worth anything more than what they are actually worth, right? I, I agree, I agree. But, you know, quarters like that, those are the original Pokemon. Collect them all, you know? Yeah, true. Wait, was, wouldn't that be great to collect every single coin that's ever been made? You think you could do it? I think I could do it. Right. How I'd, much would it run you? Like, if you were just to pay cash money the, the equal value for whatever the coin was, how much 
money is there in the world? Since the beginning of time, since the first coins were created? Uh, I guess I don't. I, I, I'm just talking U.S. currency. Okay. Assuming that all, all coins depreciate over time, it probably cost you, I don't know. Seven hundred dollars? Yeah, probably. Like it's a lot of a lot of money. It's up a there. lot. I don't think I'd want to do that. And you'd have to pay in coins too. Yeah. No. I wouldn't be surprised if later when you're listening to this, you edit this part out. You think we're gonna edit this out? You do you think this is the only thing that's staying in? <laughs> Oof. That's gonna make me look really bad. <laughs> I already thought I would never come back on this podcast. <laughs> you thought you would never come back? I mean, you're so interesting. Uh, well, Started with the beans. You that was even, a dead end. You don't even want to talk about my beans. Went into your kids. That was a dead end. I said I didn't want to talk about my beans. <laughs> Everyone's a dead end at a certain point. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, hey, there's been a lot of dead ends on this show that have been celebrated. And now what I'm saying is, I don't think this one's gonna be celebrated. <laughs> I look. I love you, Maurice. You got a flat, flat ass. Uh-huh. And that's the, the most unique thing about you. Yeah, that's probably true. You just uh, led with that. I mean, you did, I mean, it's hard to lead with it. It's right behind you, but. So you think my flat ass is more interesting than my rat tail and soul patch? <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, we don't have time to get into that. I guess we I've don't. been itching to talk about this. But I de- we don't have time, unfortunately. We have to go to a break. All right. But uh, come back another time. We'll get to that, okay? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I-, I don't know. But stick around. Maybe it'll come up in conversation uh, with our next yes, guest. Yes, I'd love to stick around. Okay, great. All right. Well- yeah. He develops, we're guessing he develops feelings for you. <laughs> I uh, don't know. That's my take on the situation. <laughs> I don't know. Me? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, wh- why? Why do you say it like that? No. I mean, you're. I mean, you're not traditionally attractive. You're. You look fifty eight. Thank you. And you look thirty years older than what you are. Yeah. What well, someone who's fifty eight can't be attractive, Scott? Well, I mean, um, you're never. You're never going to be sexually attracted to a fifty eight year old. I mean, you know, after a certain like, you're after, never going to Google hot fifty eight year old and see I've, what happens. I think fifty one is the cutoff. Whoa. Well, that's good to know for uh, me and my prospects at this point. I appreciate well, that. Well, it doesn't sound like you're dating all that much because it doesn't sound like you're confident. I don't think you look 58 at all for the record. Thank you. How, how old do you, if you had to guess, say we're, you're working at a carnival, the beans thing doesn't work out. Oh boy. Right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. And you're like, well, the only other place I can go to work is this local carnival because mm-hmm. I can't leave LA. Ugh. But this, this carnival is staying put. It's not traveling around like a traveling circus. This one's right here. Okay. It's within the city limits. I can work here. Everything's good. Okay. Okay. She comes in. Hold on. Let me take off the caftan. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that, oh, you know what? That was a big part of it. Okay. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. You're, you're guessing her age and weight. I'm, I'm that's, guessing that's your job and weight. Yeah. That's your yeah. job at the carnival. Am I trying to get slapped? You're not selling beans at the car. No, people pay you to do it. Okay. All right. All right. What do you, what do you, what do you, what would you say? Age and weight. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, 18, a hundred pounds. That's the polite thing to do. <laughs> You're not going to yeah, always guess 18 They're paying pounds. you money, and if you don't get it within three pounds and three years, you have to give them a prize. I'd rather lose the money than come off as disrespectful. You're going to be to working nice there woman. for only for like two hours before they can your ass. I'm going to get slapped. The prize is a goldfish, and keep in mind, I do not want a goldfish. <sighs> okay, I, I don't know, 57, 145? I'm going to get slapped. <laughs> That seems pretty dead on. That's, actually. yeah. I mean, 57, 145. That's what I would have said, too. If, yeah. t- if, if someone said that to my face, I'd slap them. I, I will slap you, everybody. but it'll be your hand in a handshake. Wow. <laughs> because you got, I mean, it was pretty spot on. I am 27, but I'm I'm pretty coming, I'm pretty comfortable with the terms. So in what way was face. it spot on? <laughs> <laughs> I, I am, and I am 160 pounds. So it, I said 145. Right, and you're close. Close enough. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to slap under. your hand, and I'm going and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna to give you a nice, a uh, firm n- That handshake. is a firm, hearty handshake, by Thank the way. That like is. a high five, or like, like in Predator, when... Uh, so, oh, you like Predator too? I have a friend who likes Predator. <laughs> oh yeah, was he excited when they announced a new one? Uh, no, the first, my friend. Yeah, no. Oh, sure. Why am I asking you? I don't know, but I'm sure your friend <laughs> thinks that the original is the classic one, and they don't need to keep remaking oh, this. Oh, okay, interesting. But this one's set in the past, 300 years ago. Mm. Oh, I mean, great! Wow, uh, that's, that's a awesome. Fresh take on it, on the material, don't you think? Yeah, I'm I mean, sure taking Shane Smith's classic work that only has about 50 lines in it and is the most pure action experience you could ever. Uh, witness in in theaters is a good idea. Mm, okay, all right. Well, I'll, I'll ask him about it next time I see him. But he didn't. But I think I'm in love with Maurice. Uh, oh, okay. Did you say anything like that? I don't remember saying. Because you are a, such a dud. I can't imagine anyone actually really being in love with you. I can't I explain agree. it. Thank God this episode's coming out on a Monday, right? <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, you, you're just like, all you want to talk about is beans. Yes. <laughs> Yes, actually. You love getting brunch within the city limits. Uh, yeah, because it's better, and I got the money to spend on it. I'm not trying to go to Burbank and get some discount tacos. <laughs> so you you love this guy, really? I can't wow. This zero it. over here? I really? can't explain it. Jeez. Is it because I, I, I guessed your uh, age and weight? I mean, there's something about accuracy. Incorrectly. <laughs> Well, I took the under on weight, which is the polite thing to do. <laughs> yeah, I know. But. There's something about somebody just like seeing me for who I am. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah. And I, I don't know. It's I, just I, like, I got to pump the brakes on that. First, I'm in a happily committed marriage, even though the power <laughs> yeah, you're, dynamic you're is married. It's a, you don't usually describe it as happily committed uh, marriage. <laughs> yeah. Look, we've been through some hard times. All right? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Why didn't you want to talk about that? I, I, like we went through beans. Zero. Uh-huh. We went through your kids. Less than zero. Good movie. I, good movie. Yeah. I was always taught that if you're if you're driving zero to sixty, you don't start at sixty. <laughs> you start at zero. Yeah, but you want to get to sixty within two point four seconds, don't you? What kind of cars are you driving? <laughs> Only the finest of sports cars, my dear man. I drive an e-bike. <laughs> why? Why didn't you bring up that? Look. You brought out the worst stuff about my life for about 30 minutes. And <laughs> right before break, we got into the good stuff. <laughs> the rat tail? Yes, the rat tail. The T-shirt. Anyway, Morgan, I, 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 am in a, I am in a happily committed marriage. I mean, the marriage itself isn't happy, but it's committed, and I'm proud of that. And you're happy about the commitment, even though the marriage is unhappy. I am, yeah. There's been a lot of infidelity on her side, but what? I don't want to get into that. I don't, want to get, I don't want to get into it with my wife. No, I know with your wife, but with whom is your wife sleeping? Competing bean salesman. Oh, Ooh. no. Anyway, look, you're a wonderful girl. I think you're under a bad spell from an evil warlock who happens to be your neighbor. I think you just got to break that and you'll understand that yeah. L.A. is an oyster for you to explore. Yeah, you're, I mean, you're a 20, you're young, you, you don't look young, you're not mm. conventionally Thank attractive, you. unless the convention was, you know, a bunch of old ladies, you know, you. like I a so, like a quilting convention or something like that. Sure. But, you know, I mean, you, you you don't have a ton going for you. Like mm -hmm. your job sucks. Right. But, you know, there are people in the city who would be into that. And people in other cities, certainly. Oh, boy. Like Wichita, where you're, you know, where you should uh -huh. go back to. Man. Boy, you're like a Wichita 12, you know? I was too attractive. That's why I came to L.A. in the first place. <laughs> Did they kick you out of town? <laughs> they kicked me out of town. They put me in a box. <laughs> like <laughs> they profit? Drove, they put me in the box. They drove me to the city, city limits. <laughs> And then they they sort of left uh, they left the box cracked open. I passed out heat exhaustion. Oh, um, it's a hot and town. Then it's a hot town. Uh, yeah. Tornado season. So. Oh my god! You know. What a terrible story. Thank and then you. you wake up. Your neighbor says, "Come to the magic castle." Yeah. You go down there, and he puts this curse on and you. He puts a curse. And on here me. you are in love with this guy. Yeah. Please, I'll only break your heart. <laughs> Just consider running away with me. <laughs> Look, uh, maybe I'll go for a hike with you in Griffith Park, but that's about it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, but I'm telling you, uh, half an hour into the conversation, you're going to be like, this guy sucks. He's got nothing to say. He's a boring guy. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, trust this guy. Fall in love with Scott for all I care. You're the funniest, hottest guy I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> this is nuts. Someone else put a spell on you. <laughs> it was not me. I'm not an attractive guy. <laughs> I, I. At least you admit it. Yeah. You know? Have I mean, you even seen my ass? I haven't. Oh, okay. This is going to be a deal breaker. Yeah, this stand is gonna, up. This is going to break the spell Keep right standing here. up, I mean. Like, stand on your chair. You've been standing this entire time. I'll it's turn around. I'll turn around. Turn around, yeah, See? sure. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, my God. I'm breaking all the spells. <laughs> oh, no. Stare Wait. right into it. Wait. Stop. Stare. Hold I'm on. wearing pinwheel pants, no. too. Hold on. <laughs> oh, no. You're slowly breaking out Hold of the on. spell. Whoa. No. <laughs> Oh my God! Wait, whoa, where am I? Melgan? Huh? Melgan. My name is Sabrina. Your name is Sabrina? <laughs> That's name... not even where we started. <laughs> where am I right now? Oh, you're on Comedy Bang Bang. Maybe you've heard of it. It's a podcast. It's been around twelve years. No, okay, no one knows mm -hmm. what. It... Uh, Conan okay. O'Brien? Yes, I love him. Yeah, oh, you're he's... Conan O'Brien. No, no, he... I well, love Conan O'Brien. No, no, he has. I would love to be your friend. <laughs> we're we're peers. I see. You're peers with Conan O'Brien? I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you oh, know, you're Paul yeah. F. Tompkins. Paul of Tompkins. Paul a of lot Tompkins, is right. a lot has happened since you've been away. This is wild. You what's the last thing you remember? Hmm. I paid my three hundred dollar bill 
to what? Oh, 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 I thought you meant your phone bill. My, I did pay my $300 phone bill. I spent a lot of time on that thing. I am just so clumsy. It's the number one thing about me. Right. Yeah. On Ooh. the phone? On the phone. Yeah. Is that I'm Sending clumsy emails? on the phone. I send too many emails. Right. Yeah. They charge you per email? They charge you me per email. You got one of those email. terrible deals. Plan. <laughs> yeah. Bad, terrible plan. Well, I'm glad at least you don't have the spell anymore. That's hey, good. Hey, what's your name? Uh, you don't know me unless you had CISO. <laughs> I love CISO. It's like my favorite channel. Wait, you had a CISO? Uh-oh. I was the golden boy. Oh, my God. I knew I recognized you. Ooh, I, Scott, I got to get out of here. Oh. We should get coffee sometime. No, my cover's been blown. Oh, wait. Are you? You're, you're, not, you're not Maurice Flatbottom. No. Uh, you're actor Tim Boltz. Oh, boy. You had two shows on CISO. Yikes, at least. <laughs> Oh, my God. I <laughs> thought I recognized you. Sorry, this is the only way I can get any work. <laughs> Why did you come in here with such a such a, a dud of a, a bean salesman guy? <laughs> Look, I can't I can't blow my cover. You know, if I'm if I if I'm too interesting, people would be like, wait a minute. How do I know you? Oh, okay. But if I'm a dud, no one asks any questions. I got it. Yeah, I made the mistake of talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> you did. But you love talking to duds. Oh, yeah, uh, that's true. Uh, all right, great. Um, Tim Baltz, <laughs> famous actor. Famous. Identity blown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you want to plug? I mean, obviously, like, uh, you haven't been doing much since CISO, right? No, not much. Uh-uh. Um, I want to plug any streaming service that's just the cost of a latte. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are the quaint good old days. I remember that? <laughs> they ain't coming back, and everyone who took a big juicy shit on CISO is frowning now. <laughs> uh, but seriously, um, you can watch uh, season one of Righteous Gemstones on HBO Max. <laughs> yeah, and number two is coming back. I saw in the new year. Number two is always coming back yeah. if you're healthy. Uh, so that'll be in January. Yeah, and uh, you can also watch a little a little uh, short feature called uh, John Bronco Rides Again, which is on Hulu, uh, starring Walton Goggins. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the uh, sequel to John Bronco Rides, right? Yeah, John Bronco Rides, yeah. <laughs> it's like the yeah, Apple it's, Dumpling Gang. Yeah, <laughs> which was initially just called the Apple Dumpling. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can check those things out and uh, find me on social media where I retweet things. Oh, and also you should check out CBB World. I don't mean to plug your thing. I'm sure you're probably oh, going to plug it. Well, I, I probably will, but um, uh, you, uh, yeah. But uh, I, you know, uh, my fiance, uh, Lily Sullivan, put out an, an episode that is fantastic. You yeah, Sabrina. Heard. Yeah, I'm sorry, fiance. Yeah, that's but okay. I, I was in character as a as a guy who was uh, uh, happily committed to an unhappy marriage. But but in this case, you are not yet committed. Not but, yet, but very happy. Yeah. Yes, exactly. The opposite. <laughs> All bets are off until that fateful day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's what the bachelor party is about, right? You can do anything there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, I'll have Lily listen to this and tell me what you think. <laughs> okay, <All> great. Right. <laughs>I like dumb jokes, which is, you know, perfect for a guy who sells beans for a living. But your your favorite movies are Big and Juno, and those are two very, very smart comedies. They're comedies? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you just like the premises? I cried during both of those movies well, every time I've seen them. True. I mean, Juno, she's she's uh, she's pregnant in that, right? Uh, yeah. They should call, they should call that movie I'm Pregnant. Because I, I can never remember what it's about. I go, Juno, what is that about? Juno, Juno, Juno. Oh, yeah, she's pregnant. And they, they call it I'm pregnant. And they should have called Big, uh, this woman goes to jail for having sex with a minor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the sequel, hopefully. <laughs> she's just getting out. Yeah. That's, he's Meanwhile, he's turned 40. Yeah. And she's cellmates with Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know about that. <laughs> let's, uh, let's maybe not, not no, bring that up. I'm not but. saying... <laughs> I don't know about that. I, uh, <laughs> I'm not saying I believe that. I'm just saying the future. Can you sit oh, down? All right. Just yeah. sit down, please. Please, please stop, stop towering above us. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs>